Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So OnePlus 10 Pro also joins the lineup of Android 14. Today OnePlus 10 Pro have received stable build of Oxygen OS 14 and in this video we'll talk about every change what OnePlus 10 series users will get to see after Oxygen OS 14 update. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay, so here I have my OnePlus 10 Pro which is currently running on the stable build of Oxygen OS 14. If I show you the software information, going to about section here you can see it says official version now which is of Oxygen OS 14. Under Android version, we do get to see 5th November 2023 security patch and the version is .202. I think after 2 open beta, OnePlus 10 Pro got the stable Oxygen OS 14. I was already in the beta program but still I did not receive an OTA update so I had to manually install the update. I'll try to provide the files in the description below. You guys can use those files and install it manually. First what you have to do is make sure you enable the developer option by tapping on the build number 7 times. Go to version, tap on the version number it will give you a pop-up that developer option have been enabled after that you just have to download the file which I'll try to provide in the description below and place it inside the internal storage once you place the file just go to about section tap on oxygen OS tap on these three dots select local install and choose the file this way you'll be able to install oxygen OS 14 stable build on your oneplus 10 pro and now before moving ahead if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel first First of all let me show you the change logs which I received on beta version here you can see the change logs we have a lot of changes done with Oxygen OS 14 and we'll talk about all the new features which you guys will see on your oneplus 10 pro first let's talk about the benchmark results so this time I did benchmark testing using normal mode and high performance mode. Side by side you can see the difference with normal mode using Geekbench application single core scored 1390 and multi core scores were 3702. But when we enabled high performance mode, single core scores were 1635 and multi core scores were 3858. And the same way we performed 100 thread 30 minutes test of CPU throttling in normal mode, device throttled up to 81%. And using high performance mode, the device throttles 76%. When it comes to throttling, we see a lot of issues after enabling high performance mode because that mode heats up the device and throttling gets affected. So if you guys are expecting lock screen customization, so lock screen customization so you won't see on Oxygen OS 14. We have received stable build of Oxygen OS 14 on our OnePlus 11 also, but there are no hints of lock screen customization. And the same thing goes with other OnePlus smartphones. Though you'll see improved fonts on Oxygen OS 14, which is implemented in the entire UI. We thought OnePlus will add the auto brightness toggle besides the brightness slider in the stable release but it's the same story from OnePlus. We seriously don't understand how much time it takes to add a auto brightness toggle besides the brightness slider. So soon you install Oxygen OS 14 first change you will see that's layer to the file dock. Recent file was already present on the previous build. File dock have been added which wasn't present on beta builds. It's a very useful feature which can increase your productivity. So file dock lets you save all your images text later you can share that particular text or images to other apps and you can also use this feature across multiple devices for example if you have oneplus pad your pad just needs the similar account and your data will be synced between both the devices so let me show you how does it work for example here you have a text you just drag and select the text later you long press on the text and you see a pop-up of file doc. I can just drag and drop the text here in the file doc. Later I can use it in the different application. The same way it goes with the images also. So for example here I have an image. If I tap on share towards the bottom side there's a new option called smart sidebar save to file doc. Tapping on it the file will be saved in the file doc. And if you want to send that particular file or text to someone just open up that particular app for example I want to share that text here. I'll just open open the sidebar tapping on file doc I'll drag and drop the text here quite easy isn't it and after that same way I can also drag and drop the image this way you can send the image text over multiple applications another thing related to smart sidebar is the recents file so it will show you all the recents files for example like images and documents which you can directly access from the smart sidebar cell section also got improved by adding more widget recommendations so for example here you can see we also have the support of snapchat widget on this shelf one thing which I personally did not like about oneplus is layered to camera so in past when beta 2 was released there was an issue with the camera application when it comes to portrait mode 
and the same thing continues here also here you can see a photo i clicked in portrait mode using 2x and the image is completely blurred out beta 2 at least had better separation between the foreground and the background but that's not the case here you can see the subject is slightly blurred and the background have a particular area with a clear picture this is totally unexpected from oneplus that even in the stable build they are not able to fix this issue other than that all the changes are similar which we have covered in beta build videos i'll talk more about the camera and the picture quality in our full in-depth review so if you have any kind of questions you guys can let us know in the comment section below i'll take all your questions in the in-depth review video now moving on to the gallery application so here they did add some features which we have seen on oneplus 11. one of them is this cutout photo so and it's a really useful feature let me show you an example so here i have a photo if i long press on this photo the ai will automatically extract the subject from the photo and later you can save it or send it to whomever you want and you can see once the photo is extracted the file doc automatically pops up which gets saved here and later you can use that photo from the file doc directly itself so this is one of the best implementation what oneplus have done and it works perfectly fine with almost every photo you click and now with the android 14 the gallery application gets all your photos which are present in the google photos app so here on this device i haven't enabled that feature but i'll show you on my oneplus 11 if i open up the gallery application all these photos which are present here are present in my google photos app so it will automatically sync all the photos which are present in your google photos app so this is another change what you'll see in the gallery application talking about one more change which i noticed and it kind of looks similar to ios feature so for example if you tap on edit going to markup and if you draw a circle and hold it the system will automatically make corrections and draw a perfect circle as you can see here this feature i have seen i think on iphones but recently noticed on oxygen os 14. it doesn't work when i make arrow but with circle it works almost all the time so these were the changes in the gallery application now moving on to the another change which was only present on oneplus 11 and it's similar to dynamic island where you can view required information at glance for example let's take a look at the clock application if i go to timer and start the countdown soon i swipe or close the app you can see a dynamic island type stuff in the status bar long pressing on it will give you more details when you expand it and these things works with applications like screen recorder so let me show you if i turn on screen recording the pop-up will appear in the status bar like a dynamic pill long pressing on it you get all the options pause turn off speaker mic and once done you also get an option to share this also works with applications like zomato and we would love to see such implementation with other apps too right now it is limited to some specific applications another new add-on you'll see when you take a screenshot so for example if i take a screenshot here now the screenshot pop-up has a new option called extract content tapping on it the ai will analyze the content present on the screen which lets you extract the images and the text as you can see this pop-up says hold and slide to select text and images then drag the selected content to file doc and let me show you how does it work so if i select the content and text extraction supports only english and chinese language now if i select the text i can just drag this text drop it into the file doc and also once you select you will get two options one is save to file doc and the second option is save to notes and the same thing goes with the images also i can just long press on the image drag and drop it into the file doc so this is again a great feature of extracting content so this is again a great feature added by oneplus in the app drawer you won't see any kind of changes but if you are coming from oxygen os 13.1 you'll see improved ui in settings and a better segregation between the different sections after that in our previous video we have already spoken about the specific app refresh rate which a lot of users were complaining so this feature was already added on beta builds now it continues on the stable build also where you can set custom refresh rate depending on your requirement for specific applications after that under connection and sharing we have a new option of link to windows so here you can use your microsoft account and link your device to windows and enjoy seamless access to your mobile device notification calls photos and more and talking about the last change which is rare to sounds and here we have some aquamorphic theme sounds under notifications and ringtones and we have some great notification sounds and ringtones here so you must try them out and at last if you go to wallpapers and style section under always on display 
we do have these three AOD styles under carbon footprint, which is a quite nice implementation, which provides nice information about global warming. So you can try that out. I've already spoken about them in our previous videos of beta builds. And also with no doubt, OnePlus have improved the launch speed of application and the smoothness of animation. And now the animation looks really great on OnePlus smartphones running Oxygen OS 14. So guys, these were all the changes what you guys will see on Oxygen OS 14 for your OnePlus 10 Pro. I'll soon be dropping a full in-depth review video. If you guys have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go.